before man ever sinned against God, God made a plan. And his plan was to send his only begotten son to take our place for the sin we were going to commit. Spend some time on that and give you a headache. But this is when you serve a God who knows the end from the beginning. That's who is the God of all we can perceive of with these eyes and think of with these brains. From the from the largest thing you can conceive down to the smallest thing that we can conceive, God is in the midst of it. From measuring out the oceans with his, or measuring out the heavens with his hand. You got to read the Old Testament. You understand the, the, the complexities of who God is and the minutia in his creation. The detail in how he laid out everything, how everything's connected, and is I'm not that smart to even explain it. I just know that it is. And people who are much smarter than me and may not even be Christians, you don't have to be a Christian to recognize the awesome intellect it takes to conceive of this universe why the oceans don't just overwhelm the entire world when it feels like it there's limits and there's repair and it's all in God's creative hand yeah yeah all right, 1 Corinthians eleven twenty three. This is uh, Paul writing to his uh, converts in Corinth and letting them know that there's some things they need to correct and that they are, um, you know, they need to get back in line because this communion is not just, you know, uh, a pre-meal kind of a thing. No, this is this is sovereign. This is necessary for you to understand that all the work, all the all the all the things that were laid out throughout time culminate in this meal. All this stuff that was done from the garden forward come together and Jesus sacrificing himself for us. The atoning particular sacrifice of Jesus. The single most important event in history. In history. For I received from the Lord himself that instruction which I passed on to you that the Lord Jesus, on the night in which he was betrayed, took bread, whatever you got at the house, bread, Cheerios, Pop-Tarts, potato chips, whatever you got at the house. See, when I say whatever, I mean whatever. I, trust me, I think I told you, I've done this with cheese twists and orange juice. Use whatever at the house. Because this is an act of your heart. This is an act of your heart. Where is your heart in this meal? He took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This bread represents my body 
which is offered as a sacrifice for you in your stead, in your place. Instead of you, it's going to be me. You're guilty, but I'm taking the blame. We were guilty. He took the blame. Do this in affectionate remit. In other words, when we do this, be thankful. Be appreciative. Be treated as an honorable thing that he would substitute himself for us all. Okay? I got it. Thank you, Lord. Do it. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup saying, this cup is the new covenant. New covenant. New covenant. Old covenant, love the Lord with your heart, your heart, mind, soul, your neighbor as yourself. That's old covenant. It's good. It's just. Don't make it right. We need it right. We need it righteousness. That's the only way into the dinner is with righteousness on. And the clothing, and the clothing of righteousness. Who's the other righteousness? His name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. This blood is Jesus. This lets us know that the blood he shed cleanses us completely. Nothing missing. Nothing not cleansed by this blood. Nothing not washed away by this blood. This blood is complete. One time. For all time. No more blood needs to be shed. No more sacrifices need to be made. No more temples need to be built. My, my, my. That's a good one right there. Mm -hmm. You know why? Because he built one which is the body of Christ. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God? That's what Paul wrote. First Corinthians. Try to tell you. Yeah. This cup is the new covenant ratified and established in my blood, in my blood, ratified and established in my blood, Ratified and established in my blood. Nothing else. No building can do it. No religious order can do it. No new sets of doctrines or the blood. The blood. His blood alone. Is incorruptible. Hallelujah. Do this as often as you drink it in affectionate remembrance of me. Drink it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood 
of Jesus. Oh, precious is the flood that makes me white as snow. No other fount I know. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. So every time you eat this bread and drink this cup, oh my God. You show forth. You show forth. Symbolically proclaiming the fact of the Lord's death until, until he, comes he comes again. again. Is he coming again? He's coming again. He's coming again. Because. Because he came the first time. He came the first time. He's coming again. He's coming the second time. He promised to return. 